Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science and the Respiratory System. The respiratory system is designed to exchange oxygen for carbon dioxide, which is a waste product of aerobic respiration. When a thin muscle beneath your lungs called the diaphragm moves down, the lungs begin to inflate. When the diaphragm moves upward, the lungs deflate. As your lungs inflate, oxygen, along with other gases, travel in through your mouth and nose, past the pharynx and the larynx, which is also called the voice box, and down the trachea. The epiglottis covers your trachea and helps keep food and other objects out of your trachea. The trachea branches into a left and right bronchus, and then further branches into bronchiolus. And finally, the oxygen travels to the alveoli. A slight detour. Your lungs are amazing. First, the surface area of your lungs is roughly equal to a tennis court. More surface area equals more oxygen and carbon dioxide exchanged. You have two lungs. Your right lung has three sections called lobes and your left lung has two. Back to the alveoli. Each alveoli is surrounded by a capillary. This is where the magic happens. At the capillary, oxygen diffuses out of the alveoli and into the blood, and carbon dioxide diffuses out of the blood and into the alveoli. From the alveoli, the carbon dioxide travels up the trachea and out the mouth and nostril. The oxygen is used in the body at the mitochondria to help produce energy in the form of ATP. You breathe roughly 12 to 20 times a minute, and this helps make sure that you have plenty of oxygen and that you get rid of the carbon dioxide. Thanks for watching, and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.